Hey Facebook, three times a charm. My name is Kim Douglas. I'm the CEO and founder of Prosperous Property Investments. And I was just coming to bring you some prosperity points. Hopefully that doesn't cut out on me again, but if it does, then we're just gonna keep going until we get it right. <laughs> okay, so again, I said my name is Kim and I was just coming to uh, share some information with you. Go ahead and let me know where you're coming from when you're streaming in or let me know how your day is going as long as whatever you share is positive. Great. So I'm just going to give it about a minute or two and let Facebook build up the audience of people. Let them come and see what I'm talking about. I'm going to take a moment really quick to share this in a group. Thank you. Thank you for streaming in, Joseph. Thanks for coming. So yeah, let me know how you guys are feeling today. Yeah, the last couple of minutes was a little bit off for me. It kicked me out like three times in a row. <laughs> That's never happened, but hey, we keep pushing, right? All right, so we've given it about a minute. I'm going to go ahead and go and get to the content. So today, my topic is going to be, do you need eight octopus arms? I'll say that again. I kind of stumbled it. But do you need eight octopus arms? Maybe you do. Maybe after we talk, you'll think, yeah, you might need eight octopus arms. <laughs> so what does that mean? What are you talking about? So I'm just talking about life. I'm talking about managing your business. I'm talking about managing your life. I'm gonna give you a really real example. Like I'm a mom, <laughs> I have two beautiful, wonderful kids and that's life. Like they're so busy, they have so many activities, everything from judo to basketball to modeling, you know, to music lessons and driving them around everywhere like true soccer mom, <laughs> like seriously, wherever they need to go then having to manage your life, your personal life, and manage and market your business. Has anyone ever lived this life that I'm living today? I'm just saying it's crazy sometimes. And it seems like I need like eight octopus arms. Like if you understand or if you know what I'm talking about, go ahead and give me some love in the description box below. But yeah, like sometimes it gets real. You're like, I need to clone myself. Like I need a clone right? Okay, so how does this relate to, you know, managing your business? So today I was listening to another video, like I said, another awesome entrepreneur. Her name is Ms. Keisha Bass. If you don't know who she is, go ahead and check her out. She's always dropping some awesome, amazing content. And I was so much agreeing with what she was saying today that sometimes, I mean, you don't have to do everything. You got to come to a point where you got to realize that, is this an activity that's meant for me? Or is this something that I can actually teach someone else to do and benefit from that by utilizing my time in a, in a better manner, in a way that I should be using my time, you know? So basically what she talked about was um, the big thing that you need to learn is you need to learn how to outsource, you know? <laughs> you need to learn how to outsource. And why is that important? Why is it important to outsource? I'm just going to say two words, time, freedom, like literally time, freedom. Who doesn't want that? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that means the time you actually want to spend with your kids, the time you want to go on your vacation, the time you want to go golf or play basketball or do the things you want to do. Those That time, yes, very true, very true, very true. All about leverage. Like time is the most valuable commodity that you have. And let me tell you, time is running out. <laughs> like... I would much, much, much rather do a fun activity with my kids than do some of the back end stuff. But you know, it's necessary. You're gonna have to do this back end stuff in your business if you want it to develop and go forward. And even if you're life in, in in your life, you know, you're gonna have to do the things that are necessary to get where you wanna be so that you do actually have that time freedom. But one thing she was talking about is putting these things in place. Like um, I'm gonna go further in this in another live stream. So. Really the two things you gotta focus on is outsourcing and automation. And today she talked about outsourcing, so I'm just gonna hit on a couple points that she talked about. So basically she talked about a VA. So if you don't know what a VA is, it's a virtual assistant. Like it's basically your own personal secretary. Like mind you, the CEO of every business is not taking every single phone call. They're not answering every single email. By the time it gets to the CEO, the person at the top, it's got to be something serious. You know, that person should not be doing the same job as something that a secretary can do. And in the beginning, yeah, you might be a 
quote unquote solopreneur or whatnot, but is that an effective way to market? Is that an effective way to build something? You know, we all got to start somewhere, but it's about becoming more efficient. If you want to grow, if you want your business to build, you have to find ways to become more more efficient. You have to learn how to work smarter, not harder. Now, I always say that. That's what I loved about the Air Force when I was in the Air Force, that I always felt that we worked smarter. <laughs> like, we love to work smarter, you know? <laughs> Like you don't have to, I mean, you're still going to work hard, but it's, it's a lot easier to work smarter than to just work hard and not see those results. Like you, you need to work smart. That's what you need to do first. So let me get back into the outsourcing. She gave three different resources for hiring a virtual assistant. And I'm going to share those three with you. So the first one that she shared was a website called upwork.com. So again, I'll repeat that upwork.com. And then uh, the second resource she gave was another website. She said Fiverr.com. She said this one wasn't so good for long-term jobs. I mean, sometimes you might be able to find a job on Fiverr. Um, you can also use Fiverr. I mean, Fiverr is pretty awesome. Like everything starts at five bucks. Logo design, anything, photography, editing, anything you think of. Like I've actually personally used Fiverr.com for my own logo and it came out amazing. You know, you can always add upgrades or or something like that. I think I, I paid more than five bucks because he gave me like three different options of a logo to choose from. And I'm like, that's amazing. My logo is pretty, pretty awesome. So, I mean, that's an awesome resource. You can look for a VA there or you can also use Fiverr for other things to outsource. You know, like if you need a voiceover or something like that for a commercial you're doing or if you need graphic design, you know, that's also outsourcing, you know, something that you personally don't have to do. Something that might be necessary for your business, but something that you can teach somebody. And also, if you're talking about something like design or website building, if you're not a specialist in that, outsource it outsource anything you know because one thing she did hit on is that you waste a lot of time and the point of this is is to gain time freedom is to get some of that time that we're losing back you know if you're learning to do something that you only really got to do one time like how many times are you gonna have to create a logo you know how many you know that's not something that you're gonna have to do daily or weekly but if you spend like three or four hours or a whole entire day doing that activity then you've wasted time when you could have just paid somebody five bucks and like, yo, in two or three days, have you a great product? Because that's what they do. They are efficient at doing it because that's what they do. So back to the third resource. The third resource was um, a website called online, onlinejobs.ph. And I'll repeat that again, onlinejobs.ph. So the three resources she gave for potentially finding um, a VA or other ways to outsource was um, Upwork.com, uh, Fiverr.com, and Fiverr.com is with two R's, so F-I-V-E-R-R.com. So Fiverr.com, and then OnlineJobs.ph. And as I said earlier, you want to become, it, business and life is about growth. You want to learn to do things better than you did them yesterday. You want to learn to save time, because like I said, would you rather be, learning something that you can pay somebody to do and still get a great result or waste time in doing everything yourself. I just want to tell you that it's okay. You don't have to do everything yourself and it still can be done correctly and efficiently. Use your time better. Use your time more wisely and I promise you, you will be thankful for that time freedom that you get to do and use for something else. So I just want to tell you guys, you know, thank you for coming. Thank you for, like I said, giving me a little bit of your most valuable resource, which is your time. I just hope that you got some value out this content. And I want to let you know that if you're really, really, really serious about building a business, learning how to market so that your business speaks for itself, like outsourcing, automation, how this can help your business, go ahead and click the link in the description above. But if not, I just want to say thank you guys for coming, and I hope that you guys have a prosperous day or night on purpose. Thanks. Have a good night.